right. Uh, I live in Mississauga and I am the president of an organization called Blooming Boulevards. Um, we grow native plants to support local native pollinators and to add biodiversity to the city of Mississauga. And we're very careful uh, about our native plant because um, we want to make sure that we provide bees and butterflies and pollinators with the same plants that they evolved uh, their own bodies to, to use. Okay, well this is a selection of the plants that we are distributing to gardens this year. Um, and normally we are able to uh, donate 50 gar plants, uh, which will fill up a space of about uh, 7 feet by 14 feet. So our shade plants start with these little columbines. These are attractive to bumblebees. They like to crawl up inside here and give them a shake. Uh, and also hummingbirds. We have uh, mountain mint, which can take part shade. Okay, so this is part of the mint family. Another mint family plant is bee balm. Mountain mint has white flowers. Bee balm is tall with pink flowers. And the other mint that we have is called anise hyssop, right here, which has um, purple flowers. This needs sun. Okay. And a tall sun plant is this one called Blue Vervain, which gets a candelabra type flower, and they are a dark purple color um, that, that are extremely interesting looking flowers. These need some un, a fair amount of water though. One more. <laughs> pearly Everlasting. Okay. Um, now these pearlies are the ones, actually my favorite plants. They look kind of insignificant but it's silver, fuzzy leaves, very fleshy and thick leaves, tiny little white button-like flowers uh, covered, that would be covered by bees and, and, and butterflies. Uh, and they have a very long extended blooming period. These are drought warriors, okay? Salt and drought, totally unfazed, poor sandy soil, rocks and gravel, you have pearly everlasting heaven. And this is a butterfly milkweed. Of course, you've got to have a milkweed in your pollinator garden. Butterfly milkweed is uh, stays low, okay, under a meter high, and it is covered with orange flowers uh, all, uh, for a long blooming period in the summer. Why is it so wonderful? Because it attracts monarchs. It's a monarch magnet. Have bumblebees galore and other tiny little little sweat bees, little tiny bees. Love the little herb roberts and the strawberries. This is called catmint. It is not native. However, it is beloved by bees and butterflies. I let these guys happen. And these are all my common milkweed. And these are covered with monarch butterflies in the summer. Uh, 
Okay, so these are bachelor's buttons, uh, beloved by pollinators. These are biennial. These will self-sow and then the plant dies. If you cut the plant down, it, it looks, starts looking ratty after it blooms. Then new flow foliage and more blooms, so that's what I do. Lots of Coreopsis, lots of yarrow. The native Coreopsis are yellow, and they are never double flowered. Horticulture variety often are double, natives are not. And the native flowers with a flat flower head and um, the plain yellow flower is the one that the bees and butterflies prefer.